principio que no y ya es una magoya magista no fue tan tan una magoya fue tan alta yo he visto no me está disfrutando mi gloria y para bien total Toma y gawata mane sinok. Te mamo pizzo to, te ti pagim so to. Y we swata ma kita skin, te mat sum. Ga kyo wa kuma gana na wo ga psesko wa. Ga kyo wa pigi ma ga wo kuma skin ote. Y go gawati, te mamo to skia, te wi chi hitu ya. Saga hitra, the Mochigita, Ta Samtra, but the Witch Hitra, Nevan, Sagi. Okay, we're about ready to start. If you want to make your way to the big tent, we're going to start today's proceedings with a prayer, and then we'll start the, the river gathering of 2001, and we'll put ourselves to work. Come, come right now, don't hold back. Bring your camp, bring your grub box, bring your tent. There's nothing to hold back. River gatherings, you can talk about anything and you just do it from your camp. Anybody can set up a camp. So come on down, what's your gun? You're part of the river. I'm trying to look at uh, the jurisdictions of the resources, the lands, the waters in northern Saskatchewan here. I noticed that the mayors, when we elect a mayor in the north, it's inside a village boundary. When we elect our chief and councils, it's inside the reserve boundaries. But nobody's talking, there no, doesn't, doesn't seem to be an influence on outside of these boundaries. So why don't we figure out a way, since we're all connected to rivers, to have a river council? a resource management council based on rivers. So last year we stumbled on the name of a river gathering and the trappers uh, went for their mandate to, to request to use the fur block structure which they've been managing and, and nurturing all these years and call all our camps to come to a gathering like this. And that's how the river gathering started. <laughs> Nenek a yatun, nenek a darling dog, a herring last whole last year. Then a do I a can I tc no henry nidak a no honey need daily nidday and nothing. A shani dilu, a sea and day ain't you a dream nibber nanny nicha. Kerk at all lot and no habest to sit a besoni nidicha. Uh, I decided to come to the river gathering that is uh it's it I'm I'm a history I love history first of all and probably our forefathers traveled down this river from the early 1800s and uh and uh even my own father did and uh, my grandfather did so I had never come down to Beauval by river so I decided a year ago that I would that I would come down and I was attracted by the river gathering, because of uh, days of old, everybody gathered on the water. I guess uh, I look forward to just meeting with a lot of people from a lot of different areas, and uh, and I'm 
I was just sort of open-minded to what I would hear. I would like to, I wanted to hear kind of where, what, where, where people were at from all the regions. And uh, I was quite amazed to hear that there was real, a real yearning for, for people to, to get back to one common goal and, you know, to, to redefine our purpose in this time in history. Well, the main issue that started last year was how do we work together? How can the First Nations and the Métis communities and the non-Aboriginal people from the, from the North, how can we come together? And then uh, we also looked at the governance issue. You know, the province is in charge of all the resources. The federal government is in charge of all the development on reserve. And then off reserve, it's the province again. So we have two jurisdictions. Major issue for us, you know. How can we plan the future when we're walking with two left feet, you know? Let's synchronize. I like the idea the way he's coming at it because he's putting the responsibility back in the people's laps. And the people have to come up with a strategic plan that will facilitate and offer results for the future of their children and grandchildren. And that's what that first river gathering was, was for, was to prove that we could come on these grounds on First Nations land. And all of us as brothers and sisters, as Canadians, as people of this river, come together in harmony. Right now, I, can, I, I sort of see it like um, the river just starting at the base of a mountain, slowly starting to flow further and reaching out. And I think uh, the river gathering was a good title for, for this because it's uh, something that's going to move on and flow further to the people at the other end of the river. Porcupine, Canada needs us. Canada needs the North. It needs our camps. It needs the Dene people. It needs the Cree people. It needs the Métis people. It needs all people of the North to help Canada grow and prosper. <laughs>
processing plant for marketing People are saying it's a process of searching a rightful place in our country as Canadians, as occupiers of this river. And if other peoples in their rivers were conscious of their responsibilities, they would do the same. So we're trying to find a solution of governance. This is a governance question. It's not anything else. We, people weren't holding back words. We must manage our resources in a governing manner. And that's what we're searching for. How the First Nations, how the Métis Nation, the municipal communities, the federal government, the provincial government can recognize that there's a desire, a yearning for people to be connected to this land and to be respected for the contributions they can make to this land. And those are the words, that it's not an event, it's not a one-time thing. It's going to flow like a river, you can't stop it. They may put dams on it, slow us down for a while, but it's going to flow. It started already, the people are coming together. surprised by the hunger of the people that from every from every region that 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 have, have come to realize how much we need each other and it's really it was really nice it was nice to hear that you know? one model that was discussed here was uh, you know having uh, the four levels of the family participating and deciding uh, what should occur in, in reference to management you'll have the youth You'll have the, the female sector, you'll have the male sector, and also the elders. And to have all levels of the family deciding on uh, what should be done and how the resources should be utilized and how uh, wealth should be redistributed after it's taken from uh, the land. Well, I, I notice there's a lot of young people here, and if they, take, if they can take something from this and, and learn from it and, and help protect uh, the land, it's, it's, that would be the most positive, uh, constructive thing to learn here, I say. We wanted to see an opportunity for people to, in council, in the circles, to speak and share and to utilize the youth. We invited students to come as part of their class studies from school, and they came. There were students, it was beautiful to see them arriving in the morning to share the day with us. Uh, I want to learn things plus all the great twelves who's taking native studies. Uh, they they all sent they all got sent a invitation to come here, and my teacher brought us here. And all of us wanted to come, so we came here right away and we had fun. Our land seems like it's trees are falling all the time, like. We're cutting down everything at once, and we should save some for younger generations stuff, for our youth and generations to come. Yeah, they should think about coming here because it's a good experience. You can learn a lot from all the elders, and uh, it's good to talk about a lot of issues instead of keeping it all to yourself. It's good to talk about it in a everybody from all over all the fur blocks just like if you want to talk about blogging you can come talk about your issue here i think that's 
that's the best thing about this is you see a lot of school kids here that they can listen and 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 learn on on what the elders have to say so the river gathering is